Hello students and welcome back to the class. We are discussing a very very important and very tricky topic right now. It doesn't look as if it's very tricky on the outside when I speak about hepatitis in pregnancy because all of you uh, feel that it's just hepatitis, it's jaundice in pregnancy, what's so tricky about it. The tricky part comes here. We're discussing about the different serological interpretations of uh, tests given uh, in hepatitis. How to write those tests? I've seen so many students failing in this thing that they don't even know that this is actually small c, not capital C. Because if you write HB, HBC antigen, it becomes this test and not this test. So anyways, let me take you step by step through this. I will not confuse you. I'll in fact make you give you a, a concept and then we'll uh, you know follow it up with a quiz, maybe on the app or also on my Facebook page. But uh, let's begin with understanding these uh, fundas about hepatitis B virus serological tests. Let's begin. First of all, hepatitis B virus happens to be a double-stranded DNA virus. Unlike the virus of hepatitis A, C, D and E, they're all, uh, you know, RNA viruses. And this happens to be a DNA virus. It is different in its approach, different in its, uh, you know, uh, morbidity and mortality and definitely different in serology. It has three different antigens, okay? It has uh, the HBE antigen, the core antigen and the surface antigen. So HBS, antigens, every antigen has an antigenic response. It leads to the production of the antibodies. And so the antibodies are going to follow next. First of all, you understand what is the, uh, you know, the three antigens. So the three antigens, they happen to be uh, HBS, HBE antigen, which has its own antibody. HB, can you see? Because there is a lot of uh, glare over here. Just hold on. Yes. It's clearer now. So uh, th these are the three different antigens, HBE antigen, HBS antigen and HBC antigen. That is the core antigens. All these are antigens of the same hepatitis B virus. Do not confuse this because I have seen many people confused with this. When you talk about HBC antigen, so what is HBC antigen? It means hepatitis C virus. No, it is the core antigen of hepatitis B virus. Okay, that is one fund I wanted to tell you. The next thing is about every antigen has an antigenic response, IgG and IgM antibodies. Now, what do these tell you? First of all, let me finish the first thing, easy thing. So if you order HBE antigen, once you know that your, your patient is HBS positive, HBS antigen positive, HBS antigen positive is the first antigen to come in the serum. Maybe after three to four weeks of infection, you can easily pick up the antigen, uh, the HBS antigen. Okay, the virus is inside the body. To pick it up, you take it takes time for it to come in the serology. And finally, you can get once you've picked up HBS antigen, the next step that you need to know is how infective it is because you're scared of two things: how infective is the patient to me, and how infective is this patient to the baby. Because the more number of the higher, uh, you know, quantity of HBE antigen tells you the infectivity rate. So HBE antigen tells you the antigen. I'm not talking about antibody. Okay, forget about the antibody of HBE antigen. Just talk about the antigen per se. HBE antigen tells you how infective this virus is in this current pregnancy. Okay, then we talk about the core antigen. The first to appear as the immune response from the body is actually the antibodies of HBC antigen, not HBS antigen. So this thing, it tells you the body's immune response. Immune response. That means that if suppose a patient has currently, the patient is currently affected, the first to appear will be anti-HBC IgM antibodies. And once anti-HB, uh, you know, IgG antibodies of anti-HBC are produced, I'm talking about HBC antigen and its antigenic response. Anti-HBC antigen antibodies, IgM, are the first to come in a patient who is currently infected with HBS antigen or with the, uh, with the hepatitis B virus. Let's, let's, let's stop it there. Hepatitis B virus, if a patient is infected with hepatitis B virus, the first to come will be anti-HBC antigen antibodies. IgM comes first and IgG comes later, but IgG lasts for life. That means if suppose you have any patient whose serological profile is given to you that anti-HBS, anti-HBC um, antibody IgG is present, that means sometime in life this patient had been infected. 
वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन कंसेप्चुअल थिंग अबाउट एंटी एच बी सी एंटीबॉडीज आई जी जी और आई जी एम दे आर नॉट इफेक्टेड बाई योर वैक्सीनेशन स्टेटस सो इफ आई प्रोफाइलैक्टिकली टेकन हेपेटाइटिस बी वैक्सीन इफ आई गो एंड गेट माई यू नो सीरोलॉजी चेक फॉर एंटी एच बी सी एंटीजन इफ आई नेवर बीन इन्फेक्टेड इन माई लाइफ विथ हेपेटाइटिस आई विल दैट थिंग विल नॉट कम पॉजिटिव दैट टाइटा विल नॉट कम पॉजिटिव इट कम नेगेटिव बिकॉज आई वॉज नेवर इन्फेक्टेड I have been vaccinated. I've never, never, never infected. That means infectivity status goes with hepatitis C antigen. So, what is anti-HBS antigen? So, anti-HBS antigen antibodies, IgM, is usually formed after the resolution of infection in a patient. Suppose I have been vaccinated and I also got infected with uh, hepatitis B virus, and now the virus is, you know, the the, the infection is gone. it gives me igm antibodies now after resolution of the symptoms after resolution of the infection also now i'll produce igm antibodies and maybe even igg antibodies but that means that anti hbs igg antibodies are non specific because anti hbs antigen antibodies igg are those antibodies which are produced after vaccination also so if a person is vaccinated if a person is vaccinated this titer of igg antibodies as anti hbs will come positive so for me if i was never infected in my life with hepatitis b but i took vaccination this antibody igg of anti hbs antigen will come out to be positive and similar thing will a similar thing will not happen with anti hbc antigen antibodies because in that case they will come they will come negative because i was never infected i was only vaccinated so these concepts have to be absolutely clear in your mind before you embark upon treating a patient with this virus just refer to gastroenterologist is not actually the right way to go you should know a little more about your patient in fact if you order these tests yourself that means the gastroenterologist will also marvel at your knowledge and you should yourself also this is a basic concept you should know about you should be able to understand those reports which come out of serology test and as far as the treatment is concerned as far as the treatment is concerned of uh, hepatitis b virus well like i said uh, if the hbv dna where does that fit in now so the hbv dna is is the marker of the infection in the body and why is the infection important to you because of the transmission to you and the transmission to the newborn so as far as management is concerned yes in all viral diseases the same management goes that is you know conservative management but if hbv dna load is high that means more than 6 to 8 log copies that means in that case you will go for tdf okay that tdf is the most important uh, you know uh, medical management that there's a drug which is uh, directed specifically against the dna polymerase of the hepatitis b virus and so you should be able to handle that